Hi, I'm Dr. Otten. Today we're going to talk about the ankle and the foot. Both the ankle and the foot are exquisitely complex joints that bear the vast majority of our body weight. Every time we take a step, for every pound above the waist, it equals seven pounds of force on both the foot and the ankle. So if you think about that, every time you step, you have at least 100 pounds up top that's placing 700 pounds of force on the foot and ankle. Thus, the foot and ankle have to bear a tremendous amount of force and weight throughout our daily activities. Because of this, they begin to wear down fast. Most people are now trying to avoid surgical interventions for both the foot and the ankle problems that they have. In the advent of both stem cells and PRP, we now have non-operative solutions to both foot and ankle pain. The ankle joint is another very common problem that we see. The ankle joint is made up of three major bones, two leg bones and one foot bone. They glide on each other and the ankle bones are covered in articular cartilage which wear down over time. The Achilles, as well as all the major ligaments and tendons of the foot and ankle, respond beautifully to both PRP and stem cell therapies. More often than not, professional athletes are now choosing orthobiologic therapies for their treatments with regards to their pain and injuries in their foot and their ankle. Some of the more common problems we see here at Cell Axis are Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, posterior tibial tendonitis, perineal tendonitis, as well as a couple other differential diagnoses in there. Because of the fact that one pound above the waist equals seven pounds of force on the foot and the ankle, the cartilage of the ankle is prone to injury and prone to thinning or wear and tear. Before the advent of stem cells and PRP, there was really no alternative to help regenerate the cartilage within the ankle. In the last 15 to 20 years, with the utilization and popularization of orthobiologic therapies, we now have found an alternative to surgical intervention to help stimulate the growth and health of the articular cartilage of the ankle. With an ankle fusion, the bones are fused together so patients lose a tremendous amount of motion in their foot and ankle. Oftentimes, the utilization of stem cells can alleviate or negate the necessity for surgery for up to five to seven years in various patients. Our preferred procedure with chronic arthritic ankles that require a fusion is adipose-derived stem cells. Not only do you harvest a tremendous amount of stem cells from the adipose tissue, but your own adipose tissue creates a mild cushioning effect that can last upwards of one to two years before the stem cells take effect. Pain relief can be seen within three months after a stem cell procedure in patients requiring ankle fusions. Our success rates tend to be 90% or greater for injuries of the soft tissue, ligaments, and tendons of the foot and ankle at cell axis. During your procedure, Live ultrasound is absolutely necessary for injecting the proper locations of the foot and ankle. The foot and ankle is most composed of soft tissue, and ultrasound is needed for soft tissue injections. If we inject the actual ankle joint itself, we use live x-rays to inject the ankle joint with stem cells or PRP during your procedures. During your consultation as well as the procedure day itself, it's important to take into account all of the dysfunctions and all of the mini or micro injuries that are occurring within the ankle. Most often, we don't focus just on the injury, but we focus on the surrounding soft tissue, including the ligaments and tendons as well. So we tend to inject multiple different locations during an ankle procedure.